So Disco here and today we're going to do the walkthrough for the Tidal Basin Loot Farm and go a little bit more in depth on how groups can actually get to the end to enjoy the farm. So your first setup point is going to be right here, right when you start. A bunch of seekers, turrets, skill builds, and kill everybody right here right as you walk into the map. I'm going to be doing this one as a uh, narration as I go over this video footage I cut together, man. I got to watch the kid tomorrow, so don't have time to punch up a script, but I'm going to do my best to make sure as many people as possible can get through this mission easy as possible. Once you've got your way into the door, you basically pick your spots here. The skill builds we're using are like three-piece Empress, tech support, glass cannon, and you have a future initiative in here to provide a heal. Sometimes that person will switch to an overwatch, but you're basically letting your skills do all the work for you and picking where you want to do battle. Once you get past that part, you're going to run in here, same deal, place your turrets right here, after that, it's just a matter of tossing seeker mines and letting your skills do the work. You have the overcharge when you need it, plus your future initiative buff. So it's basically a waiting game. Let your skills do most of the work. So you want some really strong skill builds to, to run this with. You don't want to be running in there with, with half-ass builds and get shot to shit. Let your skills do the work for you. The lazy skill builds, they're, they're awesome for these legendaries. So once you do that, it's once again a waiting game. Anything tries to come around the corner, you kill it, start tossing seeker mines, do the whole nine yards, and just wait until you get out of here. Once everything is dead, we're going to move on to the next area. This is a look at the builds that we're basically running. This is Nutty's build right here because he's running seekers, and Virus are running like three-piece Empress. You can run something like this if you want. Just do what you got to do, but make sure they're, they're heavy hitting builds. Once again, shout out to Virus Art and Nutty Chef for helping me uh, get these videos made and also big shout out to mayhem mazza he's the one who let me know that born the game gave me a shout out man big up to mayhem mazza afraid to wash my hair you know what i'm saying anyways once you get to this part put your skill builds down here trap them in this bottleneck don't be an idiot who runs out there get your ass shot off and then somebody got to go out there and res you skill builds will do the work for you pop them in the doorway let the npcs come to you get your overcharge guy to pop that overcharge every once in a while or whenever it's ready depending on the situation use the uh the tech support use the glass cannon and use uh in sync on your weapon to buff your skills by 30 percent just to make it a lot easier once you clear that come out here and toss your uh your assault turrets on this ledge right here and then run back and hide it's basically a waiting game don't want to go out there and be all brave and the last thing you want is a wipe so pretty please put a cherry on top don't be the hero in the group and then you get whacked and then somebody has to either switch to a reviver hive to toss it to you risk people getting killed just hang out patience is the key for this it's not a hard legendary thing that gets people killed is being a little bit too obnoxious or trying to run out and do way too much if you don't have a solid squad that's used to working together it can get a bit tedious for the most part you just let your skills do the work once these choppers come in you're basically moving up to this position right here where you see me at throw your skills it's rinse and repeat it's just on a bigger scale remember slow is smooth and smooth is fast like i tell people in the raids once you get a little bit too jumpy or you get a little bit too anxious, you'll make silly mistakes. Don't do it. You're in a legendary mission. You want to get to the end so you can enjoy the loot farm. So I'm trying my best to make sure I can show everybody exactly how to do it. And also, hit like and subscribe. I try to make quality content. I don't want to make a bunch of retarded, repetitive shit. So yeah, hit that like and subscribe. Don't be no sucker. Now, the next part. All right, so for the next part, you're doing the same exact thing. Here's where you want to post up. You can run up initially and toss your, uh, your assault turrets up there. You can overcharge when you need it toss your seekers do all that good stuff you can hop out to take pop shots and whatnot but again patience is the key as you can see we're doing this with three directives this one was a bit tedious right it did take longer than normal once you get the choppers here hold on do the same thing wait for your overcharge toss seeker mines amp your turrets all that good stuff it's really not that hard it depends you know if you're if you want to go for more xp put it on with directives if you want to burn through it do it with no directive like i said this is on three directives and i got virus nutty here with me they are used to playing with like five directives ammo is gone here but it is what it is right <laughs> it is what it is 100 it's really not that hard but like i said um all you got to do is be patient and pick where you fight at this is the next part this is the part i personally don't like the most because this is the longest part i'm like oh god so you're just sitting here and it does feel a little bit lazy but keep in mind you're doing this just to get to the end and we're doing this on three directives you can do it with no directives and it goes a lot faster the key is the strategy play it safe i put on an artificer hive here I'm the turrets are going right to that wall right next to Nutty. They're like on the, uh, the little overhang there. Slap your turrets there and just wait for them to come to you and just pick them off. Light them up. Toss Seekers. As soon as the overcharge comes up, the dude with the uh, the future will overcharge. Toss your Seekers. Do your things. People will try to hop out through these little side doors here. Light them up. It's really not that hard. Next, you got this area. Once it's safe to come down here, you, you just drop down and you pick your spot to fight it. In this case, 
from behind this little uh, barrier, whatever it is, right? We throw some decoys out. I'm running the diamond back. I'm just knocking these guys down because it has the dummy line on it. Just hit them. But it's it's all skill work. It's all skill work here, guys. Get it done fast. Don't try to run out, be a hero. You're not guns at a Navarone. The build I'm running is what you see here, right? It's like three-piece Empress. I'll try to make a screenshot of it or something like that. This build basically focuses on skill damage and skill haste. Tech support, glass cannon with in sync on one of the weapons. Once you pass that part, you're going to run up here, run up that wall anyways, park your ass up there, and then make a sprint for this uh, area straight ahead over here. Once you get to this area, what you're going to want to do is toss your skills out in a position where it's going to get the most effect. In this case, I'm going to put my turret right up here on this uh, black tusk sign, and then as I fall back, I'm going to launch a few chems to start softening people up to assist my turret in taking them down. Just that simple. Once you start making a dent in these guys and lighten them up, you're going to have a helicopter come in at the back here at some point. Once this helicopter comes, you can just spam it with a chem launcher and then have somebody waiting for it down here. The spawn ends behind you are going to come into play pretty soon here, but this one's not that bad. It's just four guys on a helicopter that come down. Just take them out pretty quick and easy. So now you've made it and there's much rejoicing. This next part's going to lull you into a false sense of security because of how easy this portion of it is, right? Slap on your skill build, get ready. You can use your chem launcher, your turrets, a stinger hive, crowd control, seeker mines, all that good stuff. Come out here, have your guy get ready to do his overcharge, and start lighting these guys up. This first wave is going to come out. Just tear them up. Just tear them up. They shouldn't make it past your skills if you're running the, the, the builds that you've seen. Helicopter's going to come in. You can warm it up with a chem launcher if you want to. Just wait for them. Like I said, the key is patience. Just hang back. Let your skills do all the work. Don't throw anything you've done thus far down the toilet by trying to rush out there in this eager attempt to get to the farm. You're almost there, and you can do it. It's really not that difficult. Like I said, this is on three directives. So this one was tedious on no directives it's much simpler okay so once you finish this this is where shit hits the fan get in here place your skills and start going to work just like you did before fall back to this area over here for a little bit of protection once you've cleared this first wave you're going to make your way to that bridge where i'm launching these chem launchers that's where you're going to make your final stand you'll have a spawn come in behind you Wipe that spawn out and the one in front of you. Ha make sure you have your healer there to keep you alive. All right, agents, you've made it this far. Now it's time to reap the rewards. Once this door opens up, I'm going to be chem launching the rocket on the far left. While I'm doing that, Nutty's doing the same to the one on the far right. I'm aiming for this little gray box right here because the splash damage from the chem launcher will directly hit that rocket launcher thing, as you can see by the damage numbers there. That's the sweet spot for the one on the far left. The far right's a little bit trickier, that's why Nutty's doing it, but there is a sweet spot for that one as well. Once I've done that, I can hop up on here to avoid taking damage, let a couple of my chem launchers come back, fire it again, and as soon as it's down, my loot pile appears. There's my loot pile. Nutty's done the one on the far right. There's his loot pile. I'm going to hop back up on that thing where Nutty is. Virus is providing the overwatch right there. And we have Bam doing the future initiative to get the 25% healing buff. Damage buff, rather, from the heals. Now, once we both have three chem launchers, we're going to go to this area right here and chem the third one together. The third one is the easiest one to hit. It's the one in the middle. It's right underneath that tower, that antenna relay tower. So, as you can see, we're hitting it from here. That's going to be your third loot pile. Just doing this in real time so you can get an estimate of how long it takes to do it. Just over a minute. Once that's down, the third loot pile pops. At this point, you're free to wipe and start the process all over again. You can do this ad nauseum. I suggest you do it before they start nerfing things like that, um, which would be unfair. But hey, you know how the game devs are. Make sure you like and subscribe. Hopefully this video is helpful because the goal is to get as many people through this and, uh, and teach everybody the method that Virus and Nutty were showing me. Uh, it's pretty simple. You don't have to do it with directives on. It's a lot faster if you don't, but that's all there is to it. Drop those three turrets and get your three piles of loot. Again, I hope the video was helpful. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button, guys. This has been the Tidal Basin Loot Farm Walkthrough. I'll see you on the next video. Join the Discord in the link below. Bye-bye.